Good morning, folks. We've got a lot to get to today, including the most extreme Kuiper Belt object known. Top science and weather news are coming as well, but let's begin at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star. No sunspots are visible at the bright groupings. Corona hole turning through on the south, but you can see the next one north on the left. No eruptive activity in the solar wind is matching that quiet back here at Earth. Decreasing stream intensity and geomagnetic conditions are quiet. 211 angstroms gives us a better look at the coronal holes. The southern group is still exceptionally weak, just like the quakes right now. But that northern opening is going to bring high power, so eyes open. Top quake of the last day was yet another striking the Madagascar and Southeast Africa area, really hoping that was their big one and no more is coming. And the same should be said for Hawaii. 99% of this volcano's eruptions are small and slow, but the power of recent events, especially yesterday, is increasing, and at this juncture we have seen the potential for a bigger explosive event, something that almost never happens there. Speaking of fire, I wanted to share GOES-16's top video of yesterday, Fire-Driven Thunderstorm. Amazing look there from the hot Sierra band. Let's get to the top story, starting with snowball planets. Turns out that orbital tilt and eccentricity changes can induce the snowball state, sort of like how Earth's ice ages occur with the Milankovitch cycles. An excellent paper on the cosmic web was released last night. Always good to see their neural-looking network of material they believe has nothing to do with electricity. And now this. Folks, in 2014 an object was spotted, but it is only now we have proper accounting of its motion. 2015, BP519 is a minor planet in an extremely eccentric orbit and inclination compared to the orbital plane of the inner planets. The planet is about 400 to 600 kilometers across, large enough to cover an entire state or the nations of Germany, France, or Poland. This qualifies it as being a very minor planet as it is smaller than Pluto, smaller than the Moon, and in about 2063 it will reach the orbital plane just outside of Neptune. Detailed analysis of the September 2017 solar flares has revealed the difference between combined shock waves and what we already know about consecutive impacts. We've known that consecutive impacts exponentially increase the geomagnetic effect, but they carry their own individual energetic particle flux. But combined shocks are more additive geomagnetically, however they can surge energetic particles due to increased stream limits. More on that in the next weekly podcast. We do greatly appreciate your listening in for an hour every Saturday. Got a new Deeper Look episode up for members as well. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4.35 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.